Hey, what's up, what's up? How are you doing, high five people? Here I am again. This time we have one more double cassette deck uh, with the both recording decks function. You see two record buttons, very interesting. <laughs> Not so much, but that means that we are talking about better model. Uh, and it's W880RX stereo double reverse cassette deck uh, on the first year you would say ah, what's special with this one nothing too much special but let me say one thing this is one very simple complicated deck uh, it has much more things on it that you can actually see <laughs> but one the most interesting thing probably for many people is graphic equalizer that you will not see on many decks and it's working just fine you can use it when you are playing um, tapes you can bypass it like uh, doesn't work and there is like a normal and high functions you see the normal is like a um, 100 hertz 350 hertz 1 kilohertz and if you put it the, the lamp, the, the LED with blank green, high is red, those are the, the higher frequencies. So yeah, you can play a little bit with it. I think this would be most useful for people who are, uh, if you have like a huge cassette tape collection and you want to put all in the digital era uh, as an MP3 or WAV or I for whatever it is, FLAC digital files, this would be the deck for it. It has everything. But also, it's working perfectly fine as a double cassette deck. I don't know the year, it's really hard to find, but it's old. Uh, what is very interesting, it came in perfectly working condition. All I have to do is to adjust the speed. And now it's working fine. So yeah, we can record on both decks like at the same time. I think we need to press first pause, then both record buttons. Yeah. Then we need to adjust recording levels. Not too much because this is normal tape, so a little bit of red. You see it says normal here and crown metal green so you can go a little bit more. You can choose Dolby B, C or of course DBX. There is a nice lamp for all of them. DBX or O or decode copy. I forgot what is that for. But yeah. looks good so yeah if we want to record we just need to press pause again and both decks are recording at the same time so when you're making copy for your friends you make two copies at the same time and they're both reverse you can choose what kind of like a no reverse just one side or loop there is a playback timer and this is very interesting thing <laughs> of course uh, it is a, uh, let me stop this recording. It is a music search function, so I would have to put some original tape mm, so I can demonstrate. Yeah, so if I press like on that two tracks, let's go back and it will find, of course two tracks and, and play it from the, the, the beginning. But what is very interesting that I didn't know, uh, when you are recording tapes, <laughs> so let's say you want to make compilation, like I want to put, you put the, the, the brand new tape here, ready to record, and now you want to choose first, third, and fourth track, only from this side. You can program actually for first, third, and fourth track to be recorded. And 
while the deck is rewinding or actually fast forwarding uh, this this deck would be in the pose so it will wait and when the, the track is ready it will start recording that's really something I, I didn't have any deck or knew any deck that, that can do that you know like a, basically it's like a CD you program first second fifth eighth track and it will record but it while the deck is fast forwarding this one will be in the pose mode very nice very nice so yeah, of course there is a normal and high speed dubbing, intro check, blank scan, and stuff like that. But this programming cassette for recording here, that's really something. Because I think this deck is very old, that's why I'm telling you. I, I mean, maybe you can find that in some newer models, but this is really old machine. And the sound is really good. Playback is really good. I like the playback. And recording is, you know, what can you expect without calibration and bias? Not too much, I mean. <laughs> it's working, yeah. Let me see, do I have anything else? All right. Good sound. I th I think it it can go twenty five to twenty kilohertz on metal tapes. Twenty five to twenty on chrome, and twenty five to ninety on normal. Of course, those are probably some high specs, but either way, it's good. With DBX, you can get ninety one decibel. Dynamic range is one hundred ten decibel. I mean peak level of course but hey yeah this deck is also heavy like it's like six and a half almost seven kilograms 16 pounds so and it's big and it's it's looking good no not so much scratches uh, maybe this I don't know stop button doesn't look worn here but from some different angles no it's not worn out huh you can clearly see it stop i tripping <laughs> so yeah we can do normal or high speed dubbing let's do high speed dubbing <laughs> high speed dubbing where did you last time did that huh i don't i i, I really don't remember Well, all those tapes are very old. And I'm using them for testing and everything, but none of them are like a mine tape that I look at me. Or the, re or the reverse deck and I'm <laughs> turning the tape up. <laughs> uh, this mic thesis is good. Fun, fun. So yes, uh, very satisfied with this old, really old. Uh, there is probably one better model, but it doesn't have a graphic equalizer, which is kind of cool. I mean, if this deck would have uh, like a proper display, let's say, and uh, at least bias control, it would be really something, something to keep. Uh, but I'm not gonna keep it. I just wanted to because it's very rare to make one video so we can put it on on internet so other people who would find it interesting or, or maybe they're looking of the for the history of take uh, and, and something like ah look the power button it's worn out and aged button is uh, it's not it just it is I don't know I'm tripping and the DBX, of course. It's DBX, man. <laughs> All right, take care. See you next time.